is Unreal Engine? Unreal Engine is a uh, gaming software program uh, that is heavily used in virtual production and um, you can create any environment in the world that you want in Unreal Engine. So you're creating a game environment essentially. That's what it is. Um, so yeah, you can change things, you can move things around, sunlight, any, anything you want, and you're, you're creating a game environment basically. And that's now, they, it, the environments look so uh, like good, like high, 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 def, high definition, like just awesome, um, that it looks awesome on an LED wall and very realistic. Does Unreal Engine have competition? Yes and no. I mean, okay, so there's like Unity. Uh, there's other gaming programs. Um, Unity is one of them. I've never used it. But for virtual production with LED wall filming, especially uh, Unreal Engine is the program that we all use in the community. I don't know if you can even use another program other than Unreal Engine. Maybe you can, but, um, but Unreal Engine is the program that everyone's using for uh, virtual production. What kind of computer and what kind of computing power do you need to run Unreal Engine? Right. Uh, well, you see, you need a certain graphic card. So you need a certain graphic card. Um, I recommend a PC station um, with certain specs on it. I had a, one of my tech guys come to me and he sorted all that out for me um, of what what I needed as far as graphic card and you know storage, memory, all that stuff for RAM, all that stuff for the computer to power Unreal Engine because it, it does take up. You know, it can, if you don't have the right computer program, it can really lag and not work properly, which, which you don't want. You need that for your, for your business and for your clients. Is Unreal Engine compatible with Mac? That I'm not 100% sure about. I think it is, yes. Um, but for, for virtual production with LD Walls, um, uh, a PC station is recommended. So I've never used a Mac, but I'm sure you can use it with Unreal Engine. I just, I've never done it myself. So this is kind of, it's what, what's recommended, what I've seen, especially to us, is a PC. So we use a PC. And nothing handheld, no iPads or, or iPhones or Android? No. Currently, okay. No, no, no. Were you talking about, the, were you talking about filming with? Or, or, or any or? type of, uh, yeah, accompaniment where you could use any type of, uh, like a mini version for a mobile app? Nothing. No, well, I mean, you can, well, touch me on the computer aspect. I mean, you can use a laptop, but it's not, recommend you're going to have more of a PC powering your Unreal Engine with your LD wall. So we don't use it. Um, you could use a laptop, but not as much recommended. So, um, so yeah. How do you build an original set for virtual production with Unreal Engine? Sure. So there's a, um, in Unreal Engine, there's this thing called Quixel Bridge and you use this, uh, called Me Megascans to create these 3D assets in Unreal Engine. Um, which you can get wherever you want, essentially, from, from Quixel Bridge. Um, but you're using that, and if you want mountains, like different mountain ridges, um, different buildings, structures, light poles, uh, different terrains, um, different clouds, stuff like that, you get all that, you can get all that from a program um, through Unreal Engine, and basically you're creating it, so from scratch. So you create it literally from scratch, and uh, yeah, so if a client comes like, hey, I want a castle um, near the woods with a certain sun or like our moon in the backdrop or whatever, you can create that from scratch in a range and from wherever they want. So, so yeah, so that's how you, how you create it from, to what they want or what you want, whatever you're trying to do. How many preset um, backgrounds do they have currently? Sure. Um, well, okay, so you as a virtual studio, uh, I mean, like we have a library of assets, we call it, of back, backgrounds um, that we've made ourselves or gotten. Um, if, somebody, if, they, if somebody doesn't like what we have, we can either create from scratch um, or there is a marketplace you can get it from where people are making them, different artists are making them um, and putting them out there for sale. And they're, you, know, you, can, you can still use them for filming, use them for filming for commercial royalty free. You're not gonna uh, you know, necessarily get in, in trouble. Um, for using it for your project and putting it out there to the public. There's different parameters uh, you can use them for. So, so yeah, so there's ways to get them or you get it from someone else making them, a contractor, or make it yourself. How much time does it take to build sets for virtual production for Unreal Engine? Yeah, so I mean, it depends what's involved. Um, it really depends on what the client wants. Uh, if they want something very, very detailed, like inside of like a castle or something, what's 
a lot of detail and like a huge environment, I mean, it could take from a few weeks to over a month. Um, if they want something more basic, like an outdoor environment, like what we see right here in the background, just like mountain ridges and terrain, sounds a little more basic. That can take a few days up to maybe a week, maybe two weeks at most. It really depends on how much detail they want. But the more, com the more complex the environment, the longer it's gonna take. So, so yeah, if it's like very detailed and they want like tons of stuff in there and like a big city landscape or something like that, or inside of a castle with tons of detail, it could take up to a month, maybe more, depends. At the time of this recording, I believe I've been told that Unreal Engine is up to version 5.3. What version did you learn on? Sure, um, 5.0. So 5.0 I learned on uh, 5.0 and now, yeah, it's at 5.3 and it's gonna keep going up and up and getting more and more sophisticated and more capabilities with it. But, um, but yeah, I learned on 5.0 in the techs I work with as well. <clears throat> I have different backgrounds. They've all started years back way before. So they start on like the four point, whatever, you know, 4.51, all that stuff. And I don't know, it's been around for a while now. So from 5.0 to 5.3, which is what Unreal Engine is currently at, what are some of the changes you've seen? You know, they, they keep adding different stuff. Um, uh, obviously better graphics, obviously. Um, so different, different assets, uh, different 3D assets in general you can get from Unreal Engine from their marketplace with like uh, the Quixel bridge that you can create. Um, so different 3D assets, better graphics. Um, it's coming out with uh, just different thing capabilities, even for like virtual production utilities and things that you can do with it. And not just virtual production, just in the game program in general, like just different things will make it a smoother, more easier operating system to use. How do you get what you create in Unreal Engine onto the LED screen? Sure. So, so you have your PC, PC station, um, what's operating on Unreal Engine, right? Um, and then that's hooked up to, uh, your PC is hooked up to your, your LED wall processor. And then the processor is hooked up to the LED wall. So all those things connected. Uh, it's what's on the PC, what's displayed on the PC uh, station is being put on the LED wall. So in connection with that LED wall processor. What do you think about having your own personal project that you want to build on Unreal Engine in order to help you learn? No, I think it's great. Uh, I, think, I think anybody should who's uh, getting into virtual production and LED wall filming, um, that's, that's huge. I have your own projects that you go out and you build yourself and you go out and you film yourself in the studio and learn what works and what doesn't um, and try out virtual production. Just you know, one-on-one from lighting it, foreground practicals, your camera tracking solution, and, uh, and make that environment that you want and see also, like if you're making that environment yourself, if you learn how to do that, how long it took, you know, how long is it gonna take you to make certain environments for clients based on what you and your team, how long it's taking them, or you guys based on your own personal projects. So you're shooting like on spec, right? You make your own spec projects. So I think that's very important to do. We've done it, so, um, so yeah, 100%.